Vias Media Network. Well, let's go back to the TV. Eh? Go back, boys. We're just looking into banks here. I just want to show you. <laughs> go back to this. Eh? So. Hey, okay, like a printer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then t- t- I still remember this kid. He sold Banksy go photo. Eh? And he photo by NASA Arts and to bits and bits. And this is to, to, to automatically shred by the So just imagine the amount of money that these guys. Hey, and it's like cutting. Okay. Yeah. So that's what happens. Anyways, go back to Banksy photos, the guys. Taco, it's sold and then that gets shredded. Okay? Oh, yeah. Interesting, man. This is this is an awesome way of showing your creation. Okay? It's funny you start with Banksy because, you know, the it's very important in my creative path. I have done a big TV series in France about street art. Mm-hmm. That took me like three, four years of work. And I crossed the world, f- every continent, uh, searching for the street art in every city. So from Bu- Buenos Aires in Argentina to, uh-huh. to New York to some African countries. And that was to see, um, r- according to the place you come from, mm. how you develop your, your, your street art. So what is your look on the street? Mm. So I've been to the city of Banksy, which is Bristol in England. Yeah. And it's a very st- big street art city, yeah. very important in the street art uh, history. And uh, so that's why it's funny you start with this. It speaks, speaks to me. Speaks to me. <laughs> Interesting, man. I didn't. I do, yeah, that's such a fantastic uh. way of seeing it. Right? Every country that you go to, the art kind of speaks, and especially the street art, because that's that's a sense of freedom and a sense of s- the spirit of the city and the, exactly. the a little bit of uh, how do we say it? A little bit of uh, being. Uh, not aligned with uh, uh, with the current government as well, maybe you know, because people have the choice to go ahead <coughs> and create in the art, uh, create in the walls, and they can do it at night if they want to express themselves. The approach of your streets and the art will be different, like uh, country to country, city country to city, to countries, because uh, one country is one history. Uh, you see, for example, in Argentina, there was some dictators, not not so long time ago. And so the the fact that being free to express yourself in the street would be very important for the people. And the painting they will do will be really regarding the freedom. If you go to a country like Morocco, uh, it's like more uh, poor country. So they will use some, they will recycle some tires, for example, and create it from the tires uh, and making sculptures. So the approach will be very different. So you can learn a lot about uh, people. And uh, by the way, they they express express themselves in the street. So it was very interesting path for me, because I travel, and in the same time, well, I was able to understand more about the people through the way they they express themselves. So yeah, that's interesting. After when you travel, that will help you to understand more the people. So yeah. I think it has been very important in my past. You know, it's not only traveling, it's not only landscape. It's all about. Uh, an history, you know, a place represents a history, and the people who are there today, they are the result of a long history, a yeah. long past. So, we have a clip that we enjoy. Now, we will see the video here. You can subscribe to YouTube and subscribe to YouTube. Vias Media Network.